Hey everyone, this is Dan with another episode of my Moderna and BioNTech videos. I want to tell you that I've just raised my personal price target for Moderna to $300 a share and BioNTech to $270 a share. Let me tell you what's happening. First, I'd like to mention that I'm not a financial advisor. I share my stock trading strategies for entertainment and education purpose only. If you want to buy or sell stocks, you should make your own decisions and you should definitely consult with your financial advisors before you do so. Let's continue. If you've been watching my Moderna and BioNTech videos, you might remember that on July 8th, I published a video. And in that video, I predicted that Moderna would be at $260 a share and BioNTech at $250 a share by the end of September 2021. On that day, when I make a prediction, Moderna was only at 232 and BioNTech at 207, quite a distance from my predictions. As of today, Moderna is already around 282 and BioNTech 231. As you can see, Moderna already exceeded my price target and BioNTech has also moved in the same direction as what I predicted. I'm raising my targets now. Why? Because of the following events. First of all, Yesterday, the news came out that Moderna would be included in the S&P 500 index. That's phenomenal because once Moderna is in the S&P 500 list, many of the index funds will be buying Moderna shares and that'll bid up the price of the stock. And the market cap of Moderna will stay above $100 billion, which is very well justified based on the latest developments and based on the drug pipeline Moderna has. And in my previous Moderna videos, I talked a lot about the Moderna pipeline. Another piece of news that just came out today is that China plans to use BioNTech vaccine as a booster for its population. The China pharmaceutical company Fosun signed a distribution agreement with BioNTech even before Pfizer signed its agreement with BioNTech. And Fosun has an exclusive right to distribute the BioNTech vaccine in China, except they haven't gotten the approval from the Chinese government. Now the vaccine has been cleared by an advisory panel, and now it's waiting for the final approval from the Chinese National Medical Products Administration. This is going to be a very important development. Why? Because China has a population of 1.4 billion people. That means easily we're looking at 1 billion doses of BioNTech vaccines to be administered in China. It will also encourage the other countries that have been using different vaccines to use the mRNA vaccines for booster shots that include BioNTech and Moderna. With the additional 1 billion doses or more, it'll easily increase my price estimate for BioNTech by about 20 to 25%. And my new price forecast is actually very, very conservative compared to these numbers. I will certainly raise my targets later on, as I've done in the past. I will raise my targets gradually as the events start to unfold, and I will inform my subscribers accordingly. I don't want to take up too much of your time today. If you want to learn about more details, please refer to my July 8th video. It was a rather long video. It lasted for about 28 minutes. In that video, I talk about the 10 leading vaccines now in the world, and I compare them, group them into the four different categories according to Gavi. And of course, BioNTech and Moderna, they belong to the mRNA type of vaccine, also called the nucleic acid vaccine. I compare the latest daily new cases from seven, eight different countries, including US, UK, Israel, UAE, and a few other countries. And from those data, I came to the conclusion that Moderna and BioNTech vaccines are the world's best defense against the Delta variant and against any other potential new variants in the future. In the July 8th video, I also show my calculations of how I arrived at my price forecast. And actually, if you look at the prices I forecasted for 21, 22, and 23, the new target of $300 a share for Moderna is actually very conservative. And then I did the same in that video for BioNTech. Again, these prices that I calculated are also generally higher than my new forecast. I'd like to also encourage you to subscribe to my Twitter account under the name Dan Market L. 
when there's new development and when I buy or sell Moderna or BioNTech shares, I will alert my subscribers by way of my Twitter account. For example, on July 13, when both Moderna and BioNTech dipped, I tweeted that I actually bought more BioNTech shares on the dip. A few days later, I also bought more Moderna shares and I tweeted to my subscribers about that. On July 13, I also explained why I bought more shares. If you like this video, I encourage you to click the like, subscribe, and notification button. That way you'll be notified when I publish new videos in the future. And it will also help YouTube to direct more viewers to my channel. Thank you very much. As usual, I will welcome your comments, questions, and suggestions that you can send to this YouTube channel as well as to my Twitter account. This about wraps up my video for now. I will chat with you again in the next few days. In the meanwhile, I'd like to wish you the very best of luck with your financial investments. <music>